Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Now in the previous uh, few videos, we discussed the NAND gate as an universal gate, that concept and we designed all the basic logic gates using NAND gate, a combination of NAND gates uh, arranged in a proper way to give us the desired output. We designed the NOT gate, the AND gate, the OR gate, the XOR and the XNOR using NAND gate. So, in the next few videos, we are going to discuss the same means the universal gate concept, but here we will discuss about the NOR gate as the universal gate and how we can design all the other basic logic gates using NOR gate. Okay. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the NOR gate to be used as a NOR gate and as a OR gate. Okay. So, let us see how we can do that. Now, <coughs> we know that a NOT gate or inverter has schematic symbol like this and it gives us the complemented or the inverted output. That is, if the input is A, the output is A complement. That is, if we give logic 0 as input, it will give us logic 1 as output and if we give logic 1 as input, it will give us logic 0 as output. In binary, there are only two voltage or signal levels possible 0 and 1. Okay. Now, we have to now design the same uh, this, this gate using NOR gate. Okay. So, First, let us draw the schematic symbol of NOR gate. It is a simple OR gate followed by a bubble which represents the inversion operation. We give first input as A. Now here, another uh, important rule of Boolean algebra which will be used here is that two same signal levels when they are ORed, okay, when they are added or ORed we get the same value. So, this principle will be used here. Here, we give the same input A as the two inputs to the OR gate, uh, the NOR gate. Okay? So, the output will be the whole complement of A or A. So, it will be A or A will be A complement. So, we got the inverter or NOT output using NOR gate. Okay. We got the NOT gate output or inverter output using NOR gate. So, just this rule of Boolean algebra is used here. Next, let us see how we can use the NOR gate as a OR gate. Okay? Let us see that. First, let us see what is the basic uh, output of a OR gate. This is the OR gate schematic symbol. We give two inputs A and B and the output we call get as A or The NOR gate is simply the same symbol followed by a bubble and we give A and B and we get output A or B complement. Now, we have to convert this signal level, okay, this output into this. This is the OR, this is the NOR gate. Now, we have to convert this into this. Now, here another uh, Boolean algebra rule comes into play that is A plus A is A, we know that, we just utilized uh, in the previous case. Another one is the double complement of a signal gives us the same output. 
so if we give the same signal twice to another NOR gate the output will be A or B four complement plus or or A or B whole complement whole complement here the same signals are or together this rule the same signals when or together we get the same value as output so it will be A or B whole complement and this complement above. So, here this second rule comes into play the double complement of a particular signal gives us the same value A or B. So, this is the OR gate output using two NOR gates. First we used a NOR gate and got the NOR gate output A or B whole complement. Then we used another NOR gate and gave two equal inputs shorted inputs the this value A or B complement and we got this value. So, this two rules of Boolean algebra is critical here. First one is any signal which is odd with the same one means two equal signals odd together will give us the same signal. Another one is the double complement of a logic signal gives us the same signal. So, these two rules we utilized here to get the value of the OR gate or the output of the OR gate. Okay. So, here we design the NOT gate or inverter and the OR gate using NOR gate. Okay.